Hi folks, welcome to the Prepared Homestead. This is Travis. Thank you all for stopping by to watch. A lot of things are going on in the news and I, I may cover some specific things, uh, but really I want to try to pull together uh, the, the really the bigger picture of what's going on, at least in my opinion. And I've talked about this numerous times if you've been watching the channel, uh, whether here or Patreon or Rumble. Um, I, I say often, you know, I use an analogy of, of a big mural on the wall, like at a, uh, a museum or an art gallery, huge, huge mural, um, you know, something of the Renaissance or something. And if you go up to that mural and you stand to where your nose is practically touching it, you can only see just about that much of it. And you're not getting the picture. You're just seeing that little, little part that you're facing. But every time you step back, you start to see the bigger picture. When you get that back to a point, you can see the whole mural and you can understand what it's about. You can see all the detail and the full picture uh, and the full story going on in that mural. And that's very much uh, what's happening right now. We, we must remember that, that everything that's been going on for years now, I mean, we're, we're, we're years into this, um, it's really all to get us to a certain point. Um, it's it's this great reset. It's this agenda 2030 still today still even ev just about every day as I'm uh, searching news and and kind of doing research uh, I see that number 2030 so often all the time You know a goal that by 2030 we'll be doing this by 2030. It'll be like this by 2030 We'll have this we won't have this people will be doing this. We'll be eating this. It's always 2030 um, there is um, an agenda going on, a definite agenda, and a lot of the things that we're seeing happening are really, I believe, pointing us to that. Even though they may seem all on their own, sometimes they may seem like uh, each one of these things that we focus on are kind of contrary uh, to something else that's going on, that maybe one will cancel out the other, you know, all this kind of stuff. Uh, but in the end, I truly believe uh, if you stand back far enough and you look at the bigger picture, you can start to see that they're all converging on a certain point. Uh, just yesterday, um, Powell, the, the Federal uh, Fed Reserve Chairman, spoke before Congress and he was talking about, you know, that the economy is way worse uh, than, than they expected, that they thought that they could raise interest rates enough by now to get things under control and avoid a recession, uh, but that's just not the case. Uh, they're going to have to be aggressive, much more aggressive, a much more rapid uh, increase. And if you listen to the things that they were saying, uh, one of them was this concern that there would be this mass unemployment, that any time the Fed has done this sort of thing in the past, it ends up being uh, mass unemployment that happens. Could be millions of jobs lost. And there were some Congress uh, folks on both sides of the aisle that was kind of concerned of that, that, you know, what about all these people that are going to lose their jobs because of this. My opinion is, is this is all being done for a purpose. You see, also along with all of this for the last couple of years, uh, there has been a lot of uh, new technology and a lot of talk, uh, including from Klaus Schwab, that people would most likely lose their jobs because of this, you know, fourth industrial revolution, the, the, the AI, the robotics, the things like that. And if they increase uh, interest rates and do all the things that they're going to do and then people start losing their jobs, it would open the door uh, for AI and robotics in a lot of different uh, you know, types of industries. And then of course you're going to have people that's not going to have any jobs anymore because they're all taken up by AI and robotics. And then of course that would open the door for central bank digital currency uh, to be in the form of a universal basic income, which is also the things that they've talked about. Uh, there's been more and more talk. It's interesting that uh, just a few weeks ago uh, there were some videos floating around about these 15-minute cities and up until that point hardly anyone had even heard about them and since then they're everywhere. There was one uh, from a local news source uh, down in um, Myrtle Beach, Florida. You know, the, the recent hurricanes uh, there last year did a lot of destruction and they're re rebuilding um, rebuilding that, those, that city and those communities based on a 15-minute model. 
and they talked so positively about it and they had city planners in the interview uh, and, and the mayor and, and all of these architects and how this is just a great benefit for the city and they talked about how numerous cities across the nation are doing this and everyone just thinks this is great you know you won't have to have a car you won't need to drive you you know everything will be just right at your fingertips you'll have digital ID uh, and and you'll you'll be able to just stay right there and it's going to save the environment make everything beautiful but what people don't realize is it's just a, a new revamped uh, version of FEMA camps and internment camps that we saw almost a hundred years ago uh, during World War II. This is all being done for purpose to keep people confined in those areas uh, and to encourage people to move into those areas, encourage people to, to, to get out of the country, quit being so self-sufficient. That's why we've seen all of this talk for the last few years about how bad gardening is and raising animals and drinking raw milk and you know, gardening, all this kind of stuff, it's horrible. You need to move to the cities, have your environmentally clean 15 minute city, little pod apartment, and everything will be great. You won't own anything, you won't have a car, you don't need it, uh, but everything will be great. You see, this, this is all being done for a purpose. And it's not just that kind of stuff. It's, it's, it's more, you know, the, the wars, the, the, the pandemics, uh, all of this really is kind of pointing us to a certain direction. I wanted to give you a little bit of hillbilly graphic now uh, to kind of explain what I'm talking about. Now, I want to preface this that I am absolutely no artist whatsoever. Um, I make stick figures uh, ineligible or in, in legible, illegible. Is that that's not even a word? Yeah, it is. Um, I, my my wife and my mother both say I missed my calling as a physician because of my penmanship. So uh, please excuse that. And and again also. Everything that you're going to see here isn't necessarily backed by hard data. It's more of my opinion. Uh, I mean, there's certainly things going on, but I'm not going to go into the, the hard data points to, to prove all of this. Uh, basically, think of the Great Reset as the, the focal point. The Agenda 21, the Agenda 2030, the Great Reset. This is, smoke's in my eyes, but this is where they want to get to. This is where they want us to get to. And <clears throat> to get to this in a conventional way, if they just flat out opened the doors and said and let everyone know that this is what they were going to get to, where you, you don't own anything, you don't have a car, you, you live in a little pod in a cramped, overcrowded city, 15-minute city, most people would not go for this. They, they just they wouldn't. They would not go for this. So they have to push us there. Uh, a few weeks ago at the World Government Summit, I've mentioned this a few times, uh, a, a panel that we're talking there, uh, someone asked, you know, well, well, what will it take to get us to this Agenda 2030? You know, what, what would it take for us to, for as a, as a world, as a people, to get to this point? And someone answered on the panel, said, it's going to take a lot of, of shock, a lot of uh, you know, a, a big shock. It's going to, a lot of death and destruction. And, and that's what we're seeing right now. Uh, so to get us here, we have uh, war in Ukraine. Okay? It's, it's taken us there too. That's, that's, that's where that's headed. Uh, we also have um, the China-Taiwan. Well... See, I can't even spell. Taiwan is taking us there. Uh, we also have CBDC. That's getting us there, too. I mean, that, that's, you, you got to have CBDC, you know. Uh, digital ID is another one. That one's getting us there. All of these, at all points, it's, you know, what, what's the old saying, you know, all roads point to Rome, or take you to Rome. That's what we're seeing here. It's all taking us there. Uh, interest rates that we're seeing going up. Have you seen things like housing, housing collapse? Housing collapse. It's happening. Um, numbers are showing that uh, people are, are applying, uh, the, has dropped, the applications for, for new homes, uh, loans has dropped uh, to the lowest it's been in years. Um, we're seeing numbers across the board right now that are as bad, if not worse, than they were in 2007. Uh, so we're seeing all of this, you know, uh, all of the, the trans movement. 
trans movement. It, it's getting us there too. Uh, if you watch uh, Nuvar Harari, uh, he's talked about that. And that the, the goal is in the future by like 2050, which is their kind of final goal. 2030 is when they want the things in, implemented. Uh, 2050 is their ideal date for the, their utopian. That their utopian would fully take effect by 2050. Um, and he talks about how the transgender movement fits with this because by 2050 we won't be having uh, children traditionally. Everything will be test tube. Um, you know, you, you just won't do that. There's videos now of these artificial wombs uh, that are being developed. They've already developed synthetic uh, sperm and synthetic eggs. Uh, and, and so there, there's, a, there's a big push towards that. And so eventually when that happens, there won't be a need for gender anymore. And so uh, people will be genderless virtually. Uh, and not just, not just uh, ideologically um, whew, smoke <clears throat> that we see now, but biologically people will be genderless. And so the trans movement is conditioning people for, it doesn't matter what you're born with because eventually you won't be born with anything. Mm. Sorry folks. Uh, it won't matter what you're born with because eventually you won't be born with anything. All of the matter is, is what you choose for your gender because like I said, eventually you won't have a biological gender. Um, you'll just choose it. Now I know this sounds crazy. Some of you are probably rolling your eyes. Uh, but if you read their literature, if you watch their videos, they talk about this. This isn't, I'm not making this up. Uh, th there's lots of things that are going on uh, that, that, you know, I mentioned uh, you know, you, universal basic income. Uh, that's going to be one of them. That they're pushing that. The whole, the whole green agenda. Um, that, that's, that's getting us there. <clears throat> uh, you know, the, the distrust in the system. What we're seeing with the January 6th stuff, we're seeing that with having uh, leaders that are that just come across as being buffoons, basically. Um, so distrust uh, in government. This is actually something that they're doing on purpose because they're going to present you a new form of government. And for the only way for you to accept this new world government is to realize that the government we currently have is inadequate. And it doesn't matter if it's Republicans or Democrats or left versus right or anything like that. It's all bad. It's, it's wrong. Um, you know, mounting debt. Uh, debt is a big one. You, if you look at, um, you look at, of course, U.S. debt is like $32 trillion. But, um, and that's not including unfunded debts and stuff. And then if you look at uh, consumer debts, you and I, it's, it's the highest it's ever been. It's something like $20 trillion um, for, for uh, consumer debts. Uh, and I could go on and on. I mean, I, I could make this bigger and bigger. I could fill this up. But uh, all of this stuff that we're seeing, you know, uh, you know getting rid of, uh, of religion, of, uh, you know, biblical <coughs> religion and doing a, a one world religion that we're seeing happen. It was just a few weeks ago, a couple of weeks ago that the, the, the Catholic Church, and um, which represents all of Christianity. I know many of you aren't Catholic and you say it doesn't, but according to the world stage, it does. Um, Catholic Church, um, uh, Islam and, and Judaism all opened up a big family, world family religion center uh, in the Middle East. And we're seeing attacks on uh, traditional uh, Christian and, and biblical beliefs, um, and so so that's that's ramping up. This this all this all gets us here to the the, the 2030 plan, the, the 2050 utopia, the Great Reset. So when we're talking about China and Taiwan and, and whether or not we go over there and we fight China or not, uh, when we're talking about um, uh, where is it the war in Ukraine with Russia? You know, are we going to engage in Russia or not? I don't know. Maybe. Um, it, Possibly at some point, you know, one of these, and of course, there's Israel and Iran and North and South Korea. Uh, there's more uh, global conflicts, but all of these are going to push us to this point. Okay, trans movement pushes here. Interest rates, economy, all that kind of stuff. Universal basic income, debts, digital currency, uh, digital ID, distrust in government, the whole green utopian baloney stuff. All of it. Housing collapse. All of this. How we're how we're changing how we educate our children. How they're there, there's this overt movement to teach children to not trust their parents, to, to put their faith in their teachers, uh, that their teachers are their parents, all this kind of stuff. All of this kind of stuff is putting us right here. 
um, and and you know the train derailments uh, all of that all of that is putting us right here if you stand back far enough and you start thinking it out in your head it gets us here the beast system it's what whatever you want to call it okay it, all of this is taking us down to this path okay all, all paths lead to here and and whenever these things are happening in our world and we're watching it in the news and we're trying to figure out you know what's going on and how it affects us make no mistake about it it affects us by getting us right here uh, now please excuse my poor penmanship I'm sure I spelled things wrong and, and, and maybe you can't even understand this I hope you can uh, but the point is is this is where we're heading folks this is biblical it's right out of the Bible it's right out of prophecy it's right out of their mouth I'm not making this up okay I'm not on here telling you spinning you some grand conspiracy theory uh, get on the United Nations websites get on the, the World Economic Forum website any other of these you know the World Bank the IMF the the World Health Organization all of them all of them have adopted plans to get us to the 2030 2050 plan and and, and all of it is is complete you know destroying your freedom destroying traditions destroying your beliefs private ownership everything it's all taken away because this is where they want to get us so folks when you're learning this kind of stuff and you're getting ready remember this it all roads lead to here so continue to get your houses in order continue preparing constantly and and, and highly focused filling in the holes the gaps that you have in your preps getting circling the wagons uh, you know, bringing in the remnant and, and securing, building the walls of protection around your family and your community, because this, this is this is what's happening, folks. It's it's headed towards us. Uh, we're headed towards it, uh, and and we need to get ourselves in order, folks. Right now is the time to get ready for this. Not tomorrow. Now, now is the time. Uh, prepare mentally, physically, and spiritually. Thank you for watching, and I'll catch you in the next video.